Hello everyone, Jin here, and this is the Mission System tutorial. This is the first part, a quick overview on where it is and what is what. So, mission files are generated for worlds and are basically separated as stories per file. That means you can only use missions if a world is already created and has run at least once. Mission files can be found in the missions folder in the data folder of a world. So, you see, uh, I open a single player world like this, and here in the data folder, and there is a new folder, the missions, and here it is the first generated mission file. This is the main DBC reason, so the main sagas for the Dragon Block CMOD and this its purpose is a, an example so on how stuff work. The mission files are in JSON format as you see and when the world loads the folder will be scanned for JSON files only. That means that if you for example copy this then that will be also scanned but since it has a different name, it will be a side mission. So everything that are not main are side missions. Any mistake or error in a JSON file will result usually in a crash. So be careful on editing them or creating one. The structure of a mission file stands from name. The, the second is a description. So you can, if you hover over the mission, you get this description. Then below that the authors on who edited them. The version is an important thing here because it's used if a mission file has been edited or changed while it's already in use to avoid crashes and errors on the player's end who already progressed in that story. So if changed, the players will start from the beginning again on this specific mission. So even for your side mission, if you don't change this and you have edited something like for example removing or adding a new line then that will cause to crash the Minecraft, for, uh, the, the specific player that is in that mission. So be careful, be careful with that. Then there is the mods. Currently, it supports the DBC and NC, Naruto C. Then there are the settings. Settings are not used yet, so these are just placeholders for now. But I can tell you what these will do. So the repeat will be in minutes, and if you done, if you have went through the mission once, then this repeat will tell you how many minutes you have to wait to repeat that mission again. The unlock will be used if you want your mission to be only unlocked if you if the player has already done another mission at least once. This will be the function for this unlock. Wars will be variables. And these will be used for the mission for something like you can add like an integer or boolean here in a specific format that I will uh, share when I finished this feature. But I think this will be pretty late on finishing it because it, this alone is uh, pretty complex stuff. So anyway, and the last one is the missions. So every mission is inside these missions in an array. So yeah, and this is where the magic happens. Let me get into the missions now for the first uh, the first part of it at least. So missions. This is one mission what you see here so this is one mission 
and the structure of it is the first one is the ID of the mission this is important because the it must be unique and the first mission must always start with a zero so this is always the first thing then the then the translated can be either true or false it's a boolean if true it basically will translate everything that is present in localization files including from other mods localization files obviously so basically if this is true these stuff will be used from the localization file so these will these lines will be searched from the localization file the next the props well it's responsible to have multiple missions under the same mission id with specific under specific conditions but i will talk about this after i explained everything else cuz it's a bit complex without telling you what the other stuff do and what they are about then the alignment this is the missions alignment actually it will be used for alignment based tp rewards training point rewards actually more about this when i get to the rewards so then the title subtitle and description these are only text texts after these come the objectives and rewards and i will talk in a in the next video about these in more detail the next video will be about objectives and i will exp ex explain how these actually work in more detail so yeah thanks for watching and see you on the next video